minister. So we are saying that don't just block sims when the fault or problem is not from the person who is holding the sim. Leader, we all must one minute. Another members, having regards to the the state of the business of the house, I direct that the house sits outside the regular sitting hours. Time we continue. Mr. Speaker, just take even birthdays, those who forget people's birthday, whether for purpose of entertainment, for purpose of uh, personal emergencies, mobile phone is important, alarms and reminders, now people study on it. So the principle of SIM registration, be assured that you have the whole hearted support of this house, that Ghana needs a dedicated SIM regime. So beyond the inaccessibility and non-availability of Ghana card. The second problem, Mr. Speaker, we try to deal with it, is there are too many silos of data in Ghana. That is my view. Too many silos of data. Why are you taking biometric of a person for a SIM card, biometric for a national ID card, biometric for a national health insurance, biometric for SNIT? Too many silos of data. What this country needs is harmonized, and the Electoral Commission of Ghana is synchronization and harmonization of data. So the problem, as I listened to the Honorable Sam George, is that you don't even have a data sharing infrastructure, nor a data sharing platform. So when you so register your SIM, how do you get it verified on a national identification authority platform when you don't have an infrastructure for data sharing? We need that, and you can provide the leadership in that respect. This country needs a data infrastructure sharing platform, maybe coordinated by policy through you, but we don't have one. It's the same problem with the Electoral Commission. You want to use national ID card. Yes, use it, but how do you relate it with your own identity numbers, with that of National Identification Authority? So the Honorable Sam George provides the certain details of your relationship with National Identification Authority is public knowledge. We all heard the uh, Kennedy Fua and where NIA stand and the relationship with the exercise you are undertaking. For us as a country, the turf war must cease. The turf war must cease as to who is in charge, who is in control. Same is your turf. But identification is his turf. How do we reconcile it for the benefit of the Ghanaian? You must be seen working with them. And therefore, this institutional hostility must cease, Minister. Then, I think that given the statistics, Mr. Speaker, this House must advise the Minister to work gingerly and cautiously that denying persons access to their mobile telephone can be fatal to social harmony, the stability of home, the institution of businesses for academic work, for research, and other things. And therefore, we are not saying that don't do the exercise. This House must make sure that the NIA is able to complete the exercise and complete it well. And stop this discrimination of come and pay and get it. If you cannot pay, you cannot get it. I mean, I use Tamale South, Mr. Speaker, as my constituency. Over 100,000 voters. I have less than 60,000 who have Ghana card. The last set was around 58,000. So there's a problem. So it is not her problem. It is Minister of Finance is not giving enough money to National Identification Authority. Even what they came and promised here, they haven't won it. They haven't won it. So let's deal with it. But Mr. Speaker, let's assure the Minister that in principle. The Minister, finally, this is unrelated. Mobile network operators. I sympathize with you because Ghana's telecom landscape is getting to the worst business opportunity. I mean, even how my tax government made from mobile network operators have dwindled over time. It may be in terms of numbers, but what we used to get, I'm hearing, and I don't want to believe it, that even Ghana Telecom, Vodafone, which was worth a billion dollars in 2008, has been offered for sale at not more than 100 million US dollars. How did that happen? Someday you have to come and brief this house on the state of Vodafone, because this is what I hear, that uh, 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 it's been sold out to who? 
how did you skew the consent of uh, the minority shareholder, which is the government of Ghana? So an asset which was worth one billion dollars, 2008. Today, not more than 100 million uh, uh, US dollars. This is something that, in the foreseeable future, we will ask you to come and respond to. It. So, Mr. Speaker, largely, we support the principle Vodafone, Ghana Telecom, Vodafone, Ghana Telecom. What is your problem, Coach? So, Minister, we support SIM registration, but do it right. The consultation they are asking for is important. Don't block people's SIM because the mobile telephone is a good source of social harmony and peace in our homes and for sustenance of businesses and for proper academic work. Don't just block it because somebody has no sin through no fault of that person. If NIA fails in getting a, a Ghana card for me and you insist on it as a sole source, this is what you get. I thank you, Mr. Speaker. And the leadership wish to contribute. Leadership. Very well. Leader here. Honorable Minister, would you want to respond? Comprehensive and thorough statement made by the Honorable Minister for Communication on the state of registration and re registration of SIMs. We are speaking the word SIM itself, S I M, means subscriber identity model. And therefore, it's an imperative for us to support the minister and government to succeed in getting Ghanaian SIM holders properly registered for purposes of fighting crime, particularly anonymous crime, and for purposes for which mobile telephony has come to be accepted as a very important tool. But Mr. Speaker, cautious in wanting to accept the minister's declaration of a huge success of the exercise. So, Minister, I will caution you when you come to be a judge in your own court and then make a declaration of how profound the success of a SIM registration is. Listening to the ranking member and other members of the communication committee, Mr. Speaker, I intend to highlight for the Minister's attention three important issues. One, stakeholder consultation. How thorough, how comprehensive was the engagement and consultation with stakeholders, including the regulator, the National Communications Authority, the telecom chamber, and mobile network operators in our country. What is the level of uh, 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 consultation that is leading to the conclusion that you have come to? That means, Mr. Speaker, everywhere in the world, SIMs are registered, even in Ghana, with a mobile penetration of 140%, which reflects in 44.9 million persons with multiplicity of SIMs. When you come and say that you have registered a half of them and call it a huge success, uh, that, that, that leaves much for us to look at. But Mr. Speaker, I like the ABA Fusini has spoken. I don't know whether I have his authority to use this proverb. A woman doesn't jump a man's thigh to make love to the man or to mate with the man. I intend not to pay royalties to you. If you do... Sorry, can, you are can you repeat in that? <laughs> I'm interested in that. <laughs> Mr. Speaker, the, the government says, and I like the ABA who polish it for me, but today I have no royalties to pay for him, that a woman doesn't jump over a man's thigh and at the same time still anticipate to mate or have a good companion with a man. You see, when you jump of it, you jump out of it, Mr. Speaker. <laughs> so, Mr. Speaker, at the, core, at the core of our problem, necessarily may not be the Minister for Communication. The inaccessibility and non-availability of the Ghana cards to deserving Ghanaians is at the core of this problem. And we must deal with this problem as the inaccessible, unavailable Ghana card 
to deserving Ghanaian citizens who may be thwarting the minister's effort and where they effort to get Ghanaians registered onto the same. And Mr. Speaker, as observed rightly by the Honorable Member for Bunkurubu, Mr. Speaker, when you go to the hinterlands, their access to Ghana card is not as easy as what is happening in urban Accra. And uh, Minister, you are the last person we should be discussing the viability and social significance of mobile telephony. Those who seems have so been blocked. Some have suffered relationship problems. Some probably have lost their girlfriends, contact with their significant others. Even some have been threatened with divorce, very possible, because why have you not reached out to him or to her? Because your sin has been blocked. That excuse, that excuse, she may be creating problems for many marriages with this sin block as a social problem. But Mr. Speaker, on a